guys happy happy sunday uh, if you're new to my channel my name is margaret i am from the netherlands i normally do paper crafting junk journaling but today i have a happy mail slash birthday present uh unboxing for you guys it is my birthday the 17th of january and i've got a beautiful beautiful happy mail slash birthday present from a lovely subscriber of mine she's a she's a dear friend um i am not mentioning her name not because i don't want to but you know i promised her not to mention her name but she knows who she is and thank you so much love for all the loveliness so i hope you'll enjoy all the uh, treasures that she sent me because they are fantastic enjoy the video bye guys i have an early birthday present yes this is a happy mail from a friend of mine and a subscriber here and a supporter on my my kofi site and she sent me this for my birthday. Now I did open it up guys, just to the wrapping of it with my address on it, but um, the box was so cute because it has Mickey on here. So I wanted you to show the box that it came in. It's just an ordinary box, but it is from the Disney shop. I'm so gonna use this someday, don't know. I'm not really a Disney sort of fan, but I cannot pass this opportunity up. So yeah, I wanted to, uh, to show you the box. Oh, it's all, all over. It's all over. And, you know, packaging material. Hello, thank you. We're going to make some lovely stuff out of this. So I believe this is, it's a tin. Ooh, so cute. And it says, happy birthday to me. To me. Lovely bag. Ooh, I love this box. I'm already happy with the box. See that? Yeah. I'm going to use it for something. So yeah, an early birthday gift. I am really, really excited about it. Oh, this was on its head. Uh, I'm going to start with the tins. Shall we start with the little tin? Oh, I'm so happy. Already love this. This is a vintage trim for sure. So I am going to use this. Some purpley tissue paper. Yeah, I also can use for some bit. Oh, that is beautiful. This is a vintage real one. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Dear. Oh, already love this. And it has all sorts in here. Oh, look at those. Gorgeous stuff. Am I a lucky girl? Am I, or am I a lucky girl? I love this. These are vintage. These are real ones. Absolutely love them. Ooh, with polka dots. I actually love this. Yeah, I have this in uh, pink as well. Oh, to tell you the truth, uh, the pink one that I have, I also received from her. She has all sorts of lovely goodies. Oh, look with the pom-poms. That is cute. Cute little pom-poms. I'm going to put this within there as well. And then the lovely flowers. Oh, I just, I just love it. I don't use it enough. I just, I hoard it. I just hoard it. Have I shown you my um, lace drawer yet? Probably don't. Oh, there's a lot on here. Well, there's a whole bunch on here. There you go. And then these are sort of appliques. These are vintage. These are really old. I can tell. Cute ones. Cute ones. And then this one, love the color. Yeah. I have so many. Cute. And with these colors, these, the sort of plain colors, this is not white, white, but it's like an off white. Uh, what I sometimes do, if I want a completely different color, I just take out one of my uh, inks and then with a daw bar and then ink it in, in a different color. It works. This is fantastic. I love it. You can do so much with this. Just cut out a small flower. Yeah. And I think I have a whole bunch as well. So fantastic. I adore it. Thank you so much, sweetheart. The tin is to die for. It is absolutely beautiful. Yes, if I find this at a thrift shop, I would pick it up for sure. Now let's unpack the bag. I didn't have a look inside. So maybe there's like a personal card in here. So I'm going to be uh, sort of careful. Again, this paper, lovely color blue. Let's see. Careful, love, careful, careful, careful. All sorts of goodies. Look at those, look at all those. 
Wow. Uh, yeah, well, that's a lot. That's a lot the bag. Happy birthday to me. Where? Where to start? Well, let's start with this one. Beautiful collage on here. With the um, uh, film strip. I'm going to keep this. Lovey. I'm going to keep this because this is fantastic. I love it. Absolutely love it. I uh, will try to open it very carefully. Oh, there is washi tape on here. And you know, I'm going to use the washi tape as well. That's a lovely one. I also sent her um, a happy mail. She's Dutch. I only do happy mails with um, people from the Netherlands. Otherwise, shipping is, it is too much, guys. It is too much. What is this? What is this? No. <laughs> It's fantastic. Wow. Oh, look at those. How could you part with this? They smell wonderful. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. These are old, old. I do collect handkerchiefs. I do. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're fantastic. Oh, I love them so much. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Oh, these are treasures. Aren't these treasures? Absolute treasures. I wonder where you do your thrifting. I hope you made these. I think you did. Look at that. That's real. That's not a scam. It's a real one. I can tell. I can tell. Love it. You need to tell me where you got those. Probably from an Instagram friend. Oh, these are the um, um, flower uh, quartet. Aren't these beautiful? Look at the colors. Yeah. In a cute little bag. Again, this is a vintage sort of a letter. It's on real paper. Oh, you also have the Sandra stickers. And this is my stamp. Yes, this is my stamp. She bought it from me. What's in here? What is this? What is this? It's from 1932. Something with chocolate. Well, I'm already happy. What? Oh, I adore it. No, it's, it's like a calendar or an agenda or a journal or... How? Love. You cannot part with this. Hopefully you have another one. Yeah. It's like a, a calendar. Normally I'd say I take it apart and then scan everything. I will try to scan it. Uh, it's tiny, tiny. Oh, but it's a treasure. It's a treasure! Let's see, what is this? It's heavy. It's a box. Did you make the box? You probably did. You probably let's see how does it open it opens here wow whose tutorial did you follow not mine that is a fantastic one oh there's a game in here two again it smells so nice oh no <clears throat> these are uh card games oh and they're new and they have numbers on them fantastic i will try to um i don't have these I will try to coffee dye some of them, see how that will work out, or do some gessoing to make them uh, look a little bit more vintagey. Love it, love it. I never thought of picking these up with the numbers. Jackson has found the wrapping paper, so he's like making his own little nest on the wrapping paper. If you hear some sounds in the background, <laughs> lovey. Yes, I know. So Jackson says thank you. Uh, Daisy also says thank you because she is in the box at the moment. Jackson and Daisy are my are my cats. I think maybe this might be a letter. Another one of these beautiful um, children's book pages. I love it. With a ribbon, it says. Um, language, mathematics. Oh, it's like for children. School. Lovely ribbon. I'm not going to call it. No, 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 no. I'm going to keep this. Jackson, what you doing, love? Well, he's playing with the Amazon packaging paper right now. Oh, look with the little lambs. So cute. Let's see what's inside. Careful, love. Also, again, it's heavy. 
It's really heavy. And I sort of. What is this? What? Wow. These probably came from like a filing system. They were on sort of a pin in a, in a drawer, like uh, in a library or something. It's probably from a library. It's, pro it's really old. I can already tell it's really old. Never seen these. I am extra. That's from 1924. I am extremely happy with this. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's so many of them. Wow. Oh, I need, to, I need to do something with these because there's a lot, there's a lot, a lot. I'm going to scan some. Yes, because the handwriting, look at the handwriting. Sweetheart, I hope you kept some for yourself. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to send you some back. Oh, they're really old and they're tattered and they're discolored. They're German, says Berlin. It is so great. If it's German from Berlin, this is during... Um, the First World War or shortly before? I don't know. Again, they smell really nice. You could you could think uh, because it's really old paper, it's, it would smell stuffy, but it smells like potpourri or incense. Oh, look at these orange ones. So cute. Treasure, 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 treasure. Thank you so much, my love. It is a fantastic. Um, then there's, and there's so much left. Let's do this one. Lovely, a lady from a vintage magazine on the on the top with beautiful post-it stamps and oh yeah, the washi tape and oh these are stickers. Cute, cute, cute. What is this? What is this? Well, it's cute. That's what it is. I don't have this color, so I'm gonna keep this. Did you stamp on here? That's a lovely stamp. Yeah, beautifully made. Oh, more treasures, more treasures. I I am totally in love with vintage papers, real vintage papers, and those are it. This is actually for um, a negative from a, a photograph for, from a camera. You know the negatives? Nobody used that anymore. From 1941 or 71. I cannot really tell. This is, oh no, 41. It's probably 41. Yeah. This is for shoes. This was during the war. Yeah. It is beautiful, but it's actually sort of a sad story. Because this was during the war and you could only fill out one form for one person in a family. And it was shoes for their daughter. Uh, it's, oh no. it's, it's, I love it. It's beautiful. But the story behind it is very sad. During the war we in the Netherlands we had it really, really rough because uh, we were occupied. Fantastic. It's like a receipt. From something. It's handwritten. Something on the back. Again, this from... Um, oh! I do believe she lives here. You live here, right, love? Don't you? I think you do. I think you do. Yeah. I don't know what it's for. But it's lovely. Again, this came from some sort of a calendar. From a Filofax thingy. See? With all the numbers. Another receipt. Lovely sort of letterhead. Yeah. This is the tiniest envelope I've ever seen. Well, uh, maybe. Mm. It's tiny. It's from 1946. It's from the same um, family. Because it has the same name on it. And it's from the, well, she lives, I think she lives there. In that city. Again, this is from the same family. Oh, it's like a paycheck. Um... Yes, your paycheck is in here. It's a paycheck pocket. Let's call it a paycheck pocket. Yeah. 
So the money that you earned came in here. That is fantastic. I've never seen a real one. Never seen a real one. I'm going to scan it, even though it's from 1944. I think, I think it's okay. Beautiful envelope from that same era. <clears throat> Another receipt from a Chinese cafe. Excuse me, I need to attend to my children. <laughs> they were fighting who could be in the box next, so <laughs> they're okay now. <laughs> yes, it's from a Chinese restaurant. Um, it must have been one of the first ones because um, of the telephone number. That is that is fantastic. It's fantastic. This is from... There was also one in... Oh, this was like from everywhere around Europe. Yeah. A little booklet from a theater in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam from 1958. These were the people that played in it. You could not attend to it unless you were 18 years or older. That is fantastic. Oh, it's the smallest show on earth, which is actually... Uh, a well-known one. Yeah. I, I believe so. Ooh, that's nice. It was sent to them. And then this big one. Again, this came from um, the place of work where this person worked. I don't really know what it is. Oh, this came from a doctor. This is a doctor's office. So we went to see a doctor with all sorts. It's fantastic. This is what I call vintage ephemera. Real vintage ephemera. It's gorgeous. Love it, love it. I have more. Let's do this one. You spoiled me, girly. There's a birthday cake on here. It's a brand birthday cake. Yeah, with some lovely labels and paper, yeah. I sometimes have some conversations uh, with her. She's a lovely, lovely person. Um, and I think she's sort of just starting out. But for just starting out, you're doing really well, love. Yeah. And you already have so much nice stuff. What's in here? Ooh, these are um, coin holders. If you are a coin collector, you can put your coin in. And then uh, this is sort of a sticky tape. And then you can fold it up. So you have, um, and then you put it in an album for coins. Yes, I am not a coin collector. Uh, coins don't last long in my household. They need to be spent. <laughs> and not put in here. But you can make such lovely projects with these. If you have like dried flowers, I put a little small dried flower in here um, and then decorate it. Do you want me to do one of those? I did uh, in the very, very beginning. Um, and I think I know where you got these from, Lovey. Did you buy these from my friend Lainey? I think you did. Because she's one of the few who has these. Now, these are vintage. These are old ones, right? Um, and I love these way more than the new ones. But you can still get these on Amazon and such, I guess. Uh, but I prefer the old ones. Great. That's another project. What is this? It's in a cute little organza. No, it's two bag. With, you know, sparkly bits on them. And I love me some sparkle. With another one of these appliques. Oops. What is it? Can you eat it? <laughs> Lovely. What? Oh, it's like a, a roll of receipts. Let's see. Oh, this is for um, a bus. This is for a bus. Because I uh, recognize the ZWN. It uh, stands for Zuidwest Zuid Nederland. It's like um, a company with buses. And this is probably, you know, where you can buy a ticket for a bus. So it's old because... They don't do it like this anymore, I think. So, where'd you get it? She's not going to tell me. Love it. Lo never seen it. Very, very special. 
another one of these small little pockets. Where do you make this from? It has all, I've never seen this paper. It has all sorts of numbers on them. Oh, she used the Velcro dots. Velcro dots. I love those. Love those. What's in here? No. These are real. Fantastic. Um, I think these were used for um, groceries. It could be put in, in a meat or any other kind of sort of food. Because it says 16 cents per ounce. Ounce is like, it's like 100 grams. So these are really old. Because you cannot buy anything that's 16 cents anymore per ounce. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. You have treasures, girl. You have treasures. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. Never found these. I know a couple of people now who are watching who are going to be really, really jealous. Yes. Yes, Barbara. I know you are. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yes. Love it. Love it. Let's see. I think this is... Oh, this is a real birthday card. A vintagey old one. Has this little owl clip on it. Isn't that cute? Says seven. Well, that's me. Oh, this is the card. This is the card. So I'm not going to read this. This says happy birthday um, from Aad and Aatje. Now, there is the funny story. I have a brother. It's called Aad. A-A-D. And I have a neighbor, old lady. She's a lovely old lady. And her name is Aatje. So it, it is like a man's name and a girl's name. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, I know. Oh, but it's beautiful. Probably girl uh, was seven. I'm not seven. No. No. Not even 17. 27, 37 or 47. No. None of the above. It's beautiful. I'm going to scan it. I just love it. And the lovely card. I'm not going to read this. I'm going to read that one later. Look at the pretty little owl. So cute. What's in here? It says for you. Well, you is probably me. Lovely stickers. Beautiful. Oh, small little clip. This is probably Tim Holtz one. Oh, beautiful. These are vintage airmail envelopes. I've never seen this one. No, it's cute. It is from Malawi. Yeah, never been there. No, there's no buses to Malawi. <laughs> Look at the inside. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Another one. This came from India. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Oh, it has like another sort of stamp in here. Oh, some more stamps. Thanks, sweetheart. Another one that I never seen. Um, hope you can see it. I can see the inside coming through on the outside. This is also from India. Look at the inside. So beautiful. Never seen these. Well, treasures, 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 treasures. I have a whole pile on my desk now with treasures. It's going to take me forever to put all of them away. Oh, you stenciled on this. I see. Oh, that's, that's a nice effect. I think I have the exact st same stencil. So, thank you for the inspiration. Another small Tim Holtz paper clip. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, beautiful stamps. Again, I need to attend to my children. <laughs> they are fighting. I need I needed to put the box a bit away. They love your box, uh, sweetheart. These came in like plastic strips. So I think they're sort of special. I don't have these yet. I am not going to use them. For sure I'm not. Oh, and these are all the princesses? Yeah. Yes, this is, um, no, well, she's not our queen anymore. This is the mother of the king. Beatrice, um, Marguerite, Irene, Irene. Um, there are, there's one more. 
at least, Christina. Yeah. She probably wasn't born then. That's the youngest. Fantastic. I'm going to keep them like this. These have not been used. So, love it. Beautiful ones. From Yemen. With horses. And you know, I love me some horses. <clears throat> More with horses. Really, really cute. What are these? These are big. Oh, it is a poster stamp. Can you see? It's in... Um, oh, you can see better on the on the back. It's in its, its own sort of frame. I'm never going to use this. Fantastic. This is... Um, the Juliana's mother, I believe. I think so. So it's old, old. This is old. Beautiful ones. Really, really pretty. It's the Passion of Christ, which is odd because um, it's in Arabic on here. So it's a little bit odd. And these are, I think these are royals or something. Love it. Absolutely adore it. Again, I don't recognize these people. No, I'm old, but not that old. And it doesn't say who it is. The stamps themselves came from 1984. I can see them. Um, oh yeah, well, it says 1984 here, which was a very good year. Do you remember 1984? Like... George Michael and such, and wham. Yeah, good year. Good, good year. Beautiful sort of envelope. She probably made this herself. Yeah. Um, uh, I love this sort of paper. This is strange scheduling paper from where she lives. <laughs> and uh, again, this is one of my steps. Let's see what's in here. Oh, she lined it with beautiful paper from... Uh, either Marjolein Bastin or Janneke Brinkman. I, I keep messing these two up. This is from a Dutch illustrator. Love it. Did you do this yourself? If you did, I am so impressed. Yeah. Very cute. What's in here? Oh, yes. I love these labels. Love them, love them, love them. These are from uh, bottles of alcohol or perfume or whatever sort of canister you want to hold something in. Mary Stewart. Poudre de Riz. So it's like a powder. And this is from oil. I love it. Where'd you get this? The last time she sent me Happy Meals, she also sent them with lots of these. And I absolutely adore them. How they keep their colors so vibrant after all these years. Because these are probably even antique. They might be antique. Oh, the colors, the colors. See, this came from Cologne. Oh, the Cologne. Superior. So it was a very good <laughs> Cologne. <laughs> no, these are old. Oh, so, so pretty. So pretty. And this is embossed. Yeah, well, treasures, treasures for sure. Yes, scanning, yes to the scanning. Absolutely. Beautiful. What else do we have left? Well, we have so much already. I'm going to keep this one for last. Cute. This is um, pattern paper. And I think this came from a book by uh, Leonard de Vries. Because I recognize, I even recognize it. Lovely collage, love. Yeah, you're getting really good at this. You must have a wonderful teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a joke. That was a joke. I love the paper. So what I want to do is... I want to keep the paper. I'm a bit, little bit afraid if I rip it, I'm going to damage it. Because this is also almost like a William Morris kind of paper. Careful, careful, careful. It's beautiful paper. I just want to keep it um, so that I can use it in a collage or something. 
but I want to keep it intact as possible. Another one of these boxes. Oh, look at that. The box alone is absolutely beautiful. There's probably handkerchiefs in here, right? Oh, yes. Yes. And these are old. Also love this. See this? It's like a piece of paper. It has the brand on it. I'm going to use... I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is take out the handkerchiefs. I love the handkerchiefs, but I'm going to put them somewhere else. Save. And I am going to use the boxes to uh, put in beautiful ephemera. Like, for instance, these. That'll uh, be a perfect fit. Uh, these are treasures. Love them, love them, love them. Last piece. No clue what's in here. With a lovely tag. Tim Holtz piece on here. A die cut and a bird. How to do this? Did you glue it? I think she glued it. Well, I can take it like so because I really want to keep the ribbon. I just, you know, I want to keep everything. I just want to keep it all. And then the green tissue paper. How many colors tissue papers do you have, love? <laughs> oh, look at that. This is probably sort of a fairy tale children's book in French. Les vacances, like holidays. My French is rubbish. I've already warned you, my French is rubbish. It's fantastic. Look at the cuties. It's absolutely to die for. Love it. Oh, it's also in color. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. Yeah, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at the dress. It's all so yummy. Oh, it's a bride. Well, and then they got married, the end. And uh, someone's called Marguerite, which is basically my name. Fantastic. 1948 so unfortunately it is not um i cannot scan it because it's uh, copyright protected but i love it that's well that was my first birthday present for this year and i don't think it, anything can top this <laughs> to be honest you cannot top it no because it is all too beautiful thank you so so much sweetheart for this amazing happy mail slash um, birthday present i am honored that you uh, chose me to share your all your treasures with so um, kisses to you and your husband because uh, believe it or not he also watches my videos <laughs> many many kisses to you lovey and uh, guys thank you for um enjoying this unboxing with me I'm going to enjoy these for a while before I put them all away. Um, and tell you guys, thank you for hanging out with me uh, during this unboxing. I will be back again tomorrow. Yes, um, Monday with a new crafty project. Have a lovely, lovely Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.